Hey guys, how's it going? It's Justine and today we are chatting about iPhone 8 rumors because there has been a few that came out the past couple of days and since the last time I talked about it. Also something that has come out quite recently, if you are new on my channel or if you've been here for quite a while, you know I've been chatting about the new Samsung Galaxy S8 that just recently came out and I've got a lot of you guys worried, like super worried. I've been getting texts, emails, calls, everyone saying, Justine, have you gone to Android? I haven't gone anywhere. I'm here. This is my baby. This is my child. I've had a secondary Android device for probably five or six years. So this is not really new information. I've talked about it before, but for some new people or from some old people who weren't aware of that, you guys have been a little concerned, but don't worry. I'm still here. This is still my first love, but I also love other things too. So it's okay. It's all right. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's hop into some iPhone 8 rumors. And this first one just recently came out. This schematic was released, I think, let's see, on Wednesday, April 26th is when my dear friends Mac Rumors covered it. I love you guys. So it looks like they've moved the flash in between the two cameras and just flipped it. I have no idea what that is. It's probably, I would assume, something for wireless charging. So the schematic appears to depict the interior of an OLED iPhone 8 and it matches many previously leaked design schematics and rumors, which is good. So that hopefully can help us to believe that this might be true. But Apple is also testing several different prototypes. So this could be one. This one says that there's no rear touch ID button included in this one, which was also, I believe, an issue in the Samsung Galaxy phones. Whether time constraints, design constraints, it never actually ended up working out. Which is probably why most of the other phones, like the Pixel and the Samsung, decided to put the touch ID buttons on the back because it might just make the most sense and it's probably the easiest to implement. Because I'm sure trying to get the Touch ID buttons underneath of the screens, expensive, time consuming, and I'm sure there's other issues that I'm not even aware about. An aluminum body and a Touch ID home button located on the rear of the device. So it's gonna be interesting to see which way Apple actually does go. I feel like the most reliable option, especially in previous phones, seems to be on the back. I mean, if anybody's gonna do it, I feel like Apple's gonna be the ones that is able to sort of make that actually work, having the home button be under the front display. They're also not mentioning much here at all about the front of the phone, which is gonna be something that I'm super interested in because the facial recognition on the Galaxy S8 is pretty cool. I mean, I just, oh cool, my phone has turned on. It's already here, it's ready. Will the iPhone do facial recognition? I've also, I haven't posted this video yet, but I've been testing out the Surface Studio and it's been super cool having the facial recognition. I just walk up to my computer and it turns on. All right, so that's the schematic. Let's see, oh, this actually just came out today. Apple is once again rumored to launch its own Venmo like service allowing iPhone users to pay friends and family members, which would completely make sense. I mean, Apple Pay is so awesome. Like, I absolutely love it. The only problem is it doesn't work with all credit card companies. And I think it's very bank specific, so it doesn't work with everyone. Whereas Venmo and PayPal and other things like that do work pretty seamlessly with everything. Unnamed Apple payment would include major partnership with Visa, that's nice. So here's a render of what it potentially could look like with the vertical camera. Although in this mock-up, it does have this little flash over here. So that would be moved over here to match this little guy. What's this? I mean, this is a pretty poor render, but it also kind of gives us another sense of what it would look like with potentially a Touch ID button on the back. I mean, if Apple was smart, they would make the Apple logo Touch ID. That's something I'm, I'm down with. So here's a potential render, but this looks so much like the current iPhone 7 that it's, I don't know. The iPhone 8 will come with a USB-C to lightning cable, possibly for easier connectivity to MacBooks. I feel like the overlap of the people who would want a USB-C to lightning, as opposed to those who would just want the regular USB to lightning, I don't feel like that overlap is very great. I could be wrong. So here we have a really nice mock-up, which looks basically like if we took the iPhone 7 Plus, smashed it together with the Galaxy, this is what we'd have. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know, I'm not sure. What kind of mock-up is this? This looks exactly like the iPhone 7 Plus with a gradient Apple logo. What are you drunk? I could have made that. Tell me more. Now this is beautiful. It looks like a fat S8. That's something I wanna put in my pocket. Oh, hello, hi, God, yeah. Yes, yes, I love it. I love it. This is, this is what we're talking about. God, the Siri button looks just, mm. I mean, that looks like garbage, but I, I mean, whatever. So here we have the potential for the fingerprint sensor there on the back. Some possible case info. That's the one that we've just seen. Here's the full screen. Oh, baby. 
This looks to be like it's edge to edge, but it doesn't look like it's curved around the sides necessarily as much as it is on some of the other shots or even like the Galaxy. Is that gold? It looks disgusting. What the heck is this? Did you just Photoshop two holes and say, here's your camera? Deep black, bright whites, brilliant colors. Scanning iris. That looks cool. In addition to Touch ID, we could introduce an all new iris scanner, all new home button. I'm hoping that they can integrate that fingerprint scanner into the screen because that would seriously be incredible. Is that USB-C? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. iPhone 8 Pro. I mean, I really hope that you can use the Apple Pencil on the next phone. Like, come on. Apple wireless charging. Did you just take a uh, an Apple TV and Photoshop it into here? So here's some other specs that are rumored. A variety of possible sizes, 5.8, 5.5, a 5, that's a lot, that's a lot of choices. Curved edge to edge OLED display with True Tone technology. Home button Touch ID located on back or integrated in display. New Touch ID featuring face or iris scanning, hello. Wireless charging, dual lens, support for Apple Pencil. USB-C replacing Apple's lightning connector. Enhanced water resistance, which I need because I just don't wanna talk about it. I dropped my phone in the toilet, I'm an idiot. Well, I guess that's it, I just wanted to chat with you guys quickly about some of the things that I have seen and I want to get your thoughts as always and I also just wanted to reassure you don't worry I'm still an Apple fan just because I'm making videos about Samsung and no those are not sponsored videos they are purely my opinion they did send me the phone to check out but I have no requirements to do anything it was just like here's a phone do whatever you want with it I wanted to do a durability test but I just feel like I end up doing durability tests on my own just in my daily life and I also feel really bad about just breaking a phone on purpose. Cause I do it enough accidentally and it hurts my heart. And I feel like there's enough YouTubers out there who do destroy their things on purpose. So that content's already there. You're a beautiful little baby. I mean, what's it gonna be like having a vertical camera? I mean, I probably won't even notice the difference to be honest with you.